have is a Weston Auto Revelation BB pellet pump up rifle. Weston Auto was a auto parts store in the United States for well back in the 19 between 60s and 70s I guess I didn't really look it up but this was my brother-in-law's and he uh, sent me a t picture of it all taken apart and said can you fix this I said well we can try and I didn't even know what was broken on it I got it all in pieces it was all apart but the reason it's back together now is because I uh, I wanted to figure out how to get it back together before I ordered the bolt for it and we have a bolt replacement bolt the trigger part the, the lever was broke off the bolt um, I ordered that from Crossman now this is nothing but a Crossman air rifle and the reason I believe that is because it's built just exactly like my Crossman 760 pump master that I got when I was a kid um, well, this is metal this is plastic and I believe the original Crossman's were probably metal with the wood stock well, I'll take the stock off first. I got this. These parts. It was this great big square stove bowl nut. I said, what the heck does that go to? Couldn't figure out what in any modern equipment have a square nut. But inside the receiver is a square nut. It's inside the receiver and that's what holds that stock on. So, get all the screws. This screw right here goes right down through the back end of that pump tube and holds the spring and the plastic retainer. I had that fly out, had that fly out numerous times. spring retainer that flies out. I'm going to clean this rust up on this thing uh, before I put it all back together. I'm going to try some, I'm going to try it on the part you don't see. It's a little fine steel wall and a little PB blaster on the part you don't see just to make sure, see if that will, will cut it. Hurry, put this Back together with opening oil on it. So. Okay, so we get the pin spring with this this little bent piece up. There's a little stud down inside the receiver that picks up on that. That's first. This is the device that prevents you from firing the gun with the bolt open. That has to catch, go down over the pin, down over the pin, and it has to catch the back side of that spring. Then you open it up so there's some tension on it and lock it right there. Then the trigger, and that needs to go. So I just hold everything down and hold up on that and get that in behind. Now you can see I got some spring action there. You gotta keep that down. This will want to jump out at you, the spring. So once you get it together, just leave it together. And the sear goes in here. And then this spring goes in the hole and the safety goes in and you just hold a little tension against it. So it's all ready to go. 
All right. So more or less back together here. The safety. Get this back. Oh, I see. I might even have that down ends like that. Remember all these little add-on little parts. I have reason to believe that that screw is longer than the other two. And I think that's the one that goes down through and holds your spring retainer your, against your uh, firing plunger. So I'm going to try and wiggle this together without anything coming apart. And I said. Oh, I guess I've done this before, said so you had to kind of wiggle it together. That's that's it, right there. We're gonna, we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll with it. We're not gonna dawdle. There's one. Two. Three, I got my nut for my stock in place, my BB holder, or BB retainer for the magazine is there. Now let's just check. Oh yeah, that works. Safety works. Make sure it. Yep. We're gonna be firing this baby in a matter of seconds. neat that you can buy the parts for the stuff. I said I ordered it from Crossman the Bolt, but I didn't. I ordered it on eBay. It was a little more money, but the guy, there was one guy had a video. He said, you can get all kinds of parts from Crossman for X amount of dollars, X amount of shipping, and order extras while you're doing it, and you get a better deal and all that stuff. But I don't suspect I'm going to be working on one of these again anytime soon. This is a hobby, not a job. So there, there's that. Now, we ought to take, since I was fooling around with solvent, I think we ought to take some not, three drops. says three drops. Every, after every 250 shots, place two to three drops of Pelgun oil in there, right in here. So I'll do that. One, two, three. Seems like three. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna try some genuine Crossman copperheads in this old Western Auto revelation. Let's see if we can't have ourselves a revelation. So partway through my testing, I was firing shots with it, and now it's leaking air out through the barrel. Seems to believe there's some kind of a seal that holds it back until you fire. It's either I might have got a piece of steel wool in it or something. I don't know. So we're on to part two of the Western Auto Revo Revelation. I'm going to have to dig in deeper than I thought. So I discovered while I was firing this thing that I was losing air and I could hear it hissing out. So I watched a couple videos, YouTube videos, and found out that probably my air valve in here is bad. 
And anyway, I spent quite a lot of time. This is different than a normal crossman. This pin, I spent a long time trying to get that out, and, that's, and I'll show you why. On the back side, it was this C-style retainer clip. And I tried all kinds of pairs of needle nose to get that off, and I finally got it. And now I'm getting ready to take this apart. So this comes out like this. And this comes out like this. You need to be careful taking that out, I'm told. Oh, there's your plunger. Ooh, what was that? Okay, that's the pin that holds the air plunger on. That's held in by gravity, of course. That's oil cup's in good shape. Now let's get a tool. So I ordered new one of these today. This is called an air valve assembly. Just in case I can't fix this one. And the new ones, I don't believe are as great as, as these ones. Because these are brass. There's a suction cup there. I mean a O-ring there. That's where the air goes in. When you fire it, that goes ahead and lets the air out. There's a seat there. Or check valve. It feels like that's leaking. I'm trying to clean it. See if we can make it work. Thought I'd try and show you a little bit of detail what's inside this air valve. So on the fire inside, the spring holds tension against your fire and pin and seal. And the fire and pin and seal. And I think this is what's bad. That seal. It was all dry and just molded to the form of the seat. But I've probably been 30 years since that thing was fired. Those boys had it when they were young. That's the piece that I believe is failing. Another area of the uh, air could be leaking by, by this O-ring right here. Blowing by and out into the gun. But the, this is the actual check valve. The heavy aluminum cylinder and a plastic valve. Once you get air in there, that air forces that forward keeping it from blowing back out of that nozzle and putting, coming out on your plunger while you're trying to pump it up. So, this is gonna go in the recycle pile. I just, they do have kits, uh, new O-rings in this new valve here. And I think there's a new O-ring that goes in there too. All right, so we're back at it with a Western Auto Revelation. We started out with a uh, bolt repair, put a new uh, bolt in. Well, it's what forwards the BB into the magazine or pellet. But we've then we, while we were test firing it, we uh, realized the, the valve assembly was leaking and it wouldn't hold air. So got the old one here. Got our new one. Came a new valve assembly and a new pump cap too. So I'm just gonna stare and compare, make sure they're the same size. Looks right to me. New one's aluminum, the old one is brass. I 
thing I'm going to do is make sure there's no burrs in here that are going to catch that on the way by and ruin that O-ring. And the hole that goes in the magazine is on the top. So I'm going to try and start that in on the top. I'm going to apply a little bit of oil to the O-ring. pump cup we might as well put it in it looks like it just pops out yeah okay just want this to go together smoothly Pump up already. Is a pin that has that retainer clip on the end. That's going to take a little tap. Like that. Now adjust the barrel. See that's on that. Uh, Orifice nice and tight. I may loosen this barrel up when I'm done again, make sure it's nice and straight. But enough to get us started, we'll start with that. Acts like it's pumping up, so that's a good thing. Now we'll go back to the this scene here, we're getting it back together. Okay, so we're going to try a series of chrono tests here. And we're going to try one pump, five pumps, ten pumps, maybe even fifteen pumps. Two hundred and twenty feet per second. One, two, three, four, five. Five hundred and forty-nine feet per second. So about the same as my cross one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were kids, we used to push these, we'd pump them right up 20 pumps. Especially if you were squirrel hunting. 676 feet per second. 10 pumps. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 734 feet per second. Plenty fast out of a 177. Crossman Design, Western Auto, Revelation. So we, there we have it, the Western Auto Revelation, built on the Crossman 760 Pump Master platform. We have a replacement bolt, there's a defective one. We ended up with a new air valve assembly. That's the old one, and a new uh, pump cup. And it shoots all the way up to 734 feet per second. Pretty fun little project.